catch and kill. It's a phrase nobody had ever heard before I came along. It's a phrase used to describe how I conspired with the National Enquirer and other scumbags to catch negative stories about me and kill them before they could get out. But it's going to have a whole new meaning if I get back into the White House. Because if I become president again, I'm going to catch my political enemies and I'm going to kill them. Don't fool yourself. You know that I'll do it. I'm going to engage in a wholesale purge of members of the media, Democratic political figures, and those who criticize me if I get back in the White House. There will be death squads, assassinations, and the streets will be littered with bodies. This country will become unrecognizable. It will be like Rwanda in the 1990s with roving gangs of MAGA death squads conducting indiscriminate and genocidal killings on a mass scale. My supporters are just itching for me to give the order and make no mistake, they will follow it. They know there will be no accountability. If I am ever president again, there will be no law enforcement. I will decide who gets prosecuted, who lives and who dies. So when you hear the phrase catch and kill, just remember that if you don't support me, that means you.